Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast. This is episode 28, Physical Therapy Management. Talking about quality management processes. You should always review patient medical records regularly, so an internal audit of charts. Prioritize adverse event outcomes. Conduct thorough reviews of care, both in person and on paper, to identify problematic areas. So you might have heard this concept of a Gemba walk to observe the work where the work is being done. Develop a plan to change identified aspects of care. Implement and monitor the plan and determine if the change resulted in a measurable difference. So really no different than clinical research. Quality improvement should be objective self-examination designed to improve the quality of the healthcare services provided. Agencies in the United States responsible for quality improvement So probably the most common one everyone has heard of is the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Health Organizations, or JCO, Professional Standards Review Organization, PSRO, Commission of Accreditation on Rehab Facilities, CARF, or C-A-R-F, and National Committee for Quality Assurance, NCQA. Organizational structure quality review should have an assessment of organization, staffing, staff qualifications, Rules and policies governing work, records, equipment, and facilities. Review of process, the degree or extent to which a therapist conforms to accepted professional service practice, including application, efficacy, adequacy, and timeliness as objective measurements. And finally, outcomes. So outcomes are the way to measure the therapist regarding their efficiency and quality of patient care. That's it for episode 28, talking about physical therapy management. Episode 29, we'll talk about disability models. As always, the outline will be in the show notes. Thanks for